mateys! Now that I'm officially done with my first year at Cambridge as a natural sciences student, I finally have time to address a question that I get asked a lot. So, how hard really is your degree? As an ASCII, I obviously think in terms of numbers rather than adjectives for quantification. So I thought I'd make a video breaking down the number of hours that I worked in a week as a first year Cambridge Natural Sciences student. Let's get sailing! Before we begin, let me break down some relevant Cambridge jargon for you. Number one, Natsuki. Natsuki is just natural sciences for short. It can be used in the context of me just saying I'm a Natsuki student or that I study Cambridge Natsuki. And number two, supervisions or supos for short. A supervision is a small group teaching session where a group of one to three students are taught by an academic. It often includes work that is set for the students by the supervisor, who is the academic, and this work is subsequently marked and feedback is given during the supervision. In first year, all Natskis need to take four courses, one math course and three science courses. In my first year, as a biological natural sciences student, or as we are called bio Natskis, I took mathematical biology as my math course, and for my three science courses, I took biology of cells, evolution and behavior, and earth sciences. Let's now come to the components of a typical Natsuki week in first year. The work hours in a typical Cambridge Natsuki week can be split into two categories. One are the contact hours, and number two are independent work hours. Let's first talk about contact hours. Contact hours are those hours that are scheduled by the university. In my case, these were lectures, supervisions, and practicals. The duration of these lectures, supervisions, and practicals is standardized across all Natsuki courses in the first year. Every week, we have three lectures per course, each lasting about one hour. Since we have to do four courses, that amounts to four times three, which equals 12 hours of lectures every week. Coming to supervisions, we usually have one supervision per course per week, and since we do four courses, that's four hours of supervision every week. The last component of contact hours are practicals. Every first year Natsuki course needs to have three hours of practicals every week for its students. But how each course meets this requirement varies. For example, for my Earth Sciences course, I had one hour practical sessions three times a week. On the other hand, for my biology of cells and mathematical biology courses, I had one three-hour practical sessions per week. My final module, Evolution and Behavior, scheduled practicals fortnightly, that is once in two weeks, but these practical sessions were six hours long. Regardless of how each course chooses to schedule its practicals, our practical sessions amount to 12 hours a week. So considering lectures, supervisions, and practicals, we have 28 contact hours every week. Keep in mind that as first-year Cambridge Natsuki students, we have one of the highest contact hours in comparison to any other Cambridge undergrad degree. Since first-year Natsuki is quite intense and is intended for students to explore various sciences, the grade that we get after our first-year final exam does not count towards our final degree grade, which I think is great. Coming to component two, independent work hours. During every supervision, each supervisor assigns a certain amount of work that needs to be done and submitted to them before the next supervision. And since the term is so fast-paced and the amount of content that is taught to us is quite overwhelming, it's important that we keep making notes and revise regularly throughout term. In comparison to contact hours, independent work hours are quite difficult to estimate. They depend on various factors. Number one is how productively each student works. For example, one student may complete a task in one hour, while another may take nearly three hours to complete the same task. Number two, how much hard work each student puts in. Even at Cambridge, there are varying levels of how much each student cares about their academic performance. Some students want to give it their all for every single assignment that they submit, and on top of this, they do lots of extra reading and extra work which of course would take significantly longer than others who do the bare minimum to just scrape through the course. Number three, the difficulty of work assigned. Some supervision work takes longer than others, both according to the course, as well as what content is taught during that week. So some weeks I would take just one to two hours to finish my math supervision work, but during other weeks I would take nearly six hours, simply because the content would be more challenging and the questions more difficult to grasp. 
keeping all of this in mind, here is just a rough estimate of how much time I would spend every week on my independent work. For my supervisions, I would spend about two hours per course every week. So since I have four supervisions every week, that's about eight hours spent on the work that is assigned to me for supervision. For each of my practical sessions, I would spend nearly two hours for revising that content. So since I had four practical sessions every week, that's about eight hours of revision for practicals. For every one hour lecture, I would spend nearly two hours to do all the extra reading and make notes for that lecture. Since I had 12 lectures a week, that was 24 hours of revision for lectures. So in total, that's about 40 hours of independent work a week. Summing the contact hours and the independent work hours amounts to nearly 70 hours of work a week. And this is excluding other time commitments, such as societies and socializing, as well as the time taken to do other necessary tasks, such as groceries, cooking, laundry, etc. Of course, as a number per week, that does seem quite overwhelming and intense. Cambridge weeks are definitely infamous for being that intense, especially the Natsuki degree. I would have lectures every morning, including Saturdays, and I would spend the most of my Sundays just trying to stay afloat with all the work that I've been drowning in the past week. Having said all of that, however, the learning curve is quite steep and most students definitely get used to the work week and cope well with the workload. It's also important to remember that Cambridge terms are one of the shortest in the entire UK, only eight weeks. These short and super fast paced terms means that we do have time over the break to catch up on content that we may have missed during the term. For example, though I would have ideally loved to make notes and revise after every single lecture and practical, I would realistically just be behind note making the entire term, but I would always ensure to catch up on that during the break. In that sense, our six week vacation break is not fully for leisure, but rather for catching up on all the work that we have been behind on during term time. Despite how daunting all of this might sound, I assure you that term time is manageable and the courses are so interesting. I wasn't even sure of what I wanted to study at uni before I came to Cambridge, but I enjoyed my first year courses so much. I have even finalized my choices for my second year and drum roll, I'm gonna be going down the zoology and earth sciences path for my second year. Let me end this video with the short and succinct answer that I give everyone who asks me the question, so how hard really is your degree? I say the academic work is definitely much harder than I have ever done in my life, but the content is just as interesting and well taught. I hope that this video gave you an idea of how a Cambridge Natural Sciences week is structured during first year. Please do drop any comments or questions you have in the comment section down below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Take care and see you soon. Bye!